hello friends welcome back to another video in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix ea sports fc 26 game crashing not loading lagging freezing low fps or other issues on pc so let's go through it so the first method is to check system requirements so to check the system requirements you need to go to steam and after that search for the game over here after searching it go below and here you can find the system requirements to play the game on your pc so make sure you have these requirements apart from this if you are playing the game on epic then you can also go through it search for the game and uh, go below and here you can find the requirements to play the game on pc so once you fulfill all the requirements try to play the game and see if it's launching or not if not next solution is to modify launch option so steam users uh, go to steam under library section select your game as i have not downloaded the game so i will show you the example launch steam now under library select your game right click on it click on properties and under general here you have to type minus dx11 and then try to launch the game and see if it works for you if not again come back and set, uh, type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if this helps to resolve the problem now epic games users you simply go to the uh, search bar or under your library select your game so after selecting the game click on three dot icon over here then click on manage now here you can see launch option you need to enable it and after here you need to type minus dx11 and then try to launch the game and see if it works if not again come back and type minus dx12 and after that try to launch the game if you are playing the game on epic and after that check if the problem is fixed or not if not next solution is to verify integrity of game files so steam users launch steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then here you need to click on verify integrity of game files after verifying the game files on steam now check if the problem is fixed or not epic games users you need to launch epic games now go to the library section select your game click on the three dot icon over here then click on manage and here you can see verify option so you simply need to click on verify option and it will verify the files and after that check if the problem is fixed ea game users simply need to open ea app select the game and click on manage and then tap on repair option so after this try to launch the game and see if it is working now if not next is to run game as administrator so steam users just go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed now select your game application after selecting the game application right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility then select run this program as an administrator and then hit on apply and ok now try to launch the game and check if it was working if not select this run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then hit on apply and ok now try to play the game and see if it helps if not click on disable full screen optimizations and after that click on apply and ok and then try to play the game and see if this helps to resolve the problem you are coming across next method is to allow the game through firewall so for that go to the windows search here search for windows security after it opens click on firewall and network protection now click on allow an app through firewall after that click on change settings now here you need to search for the game if it is listed over here if not don't worry simply click on allow another app then click on browse and then uh, go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application now click on open and click on add and after adding the game to the list here you need to select it so after selecting it make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok 
So after doing this step, try to launch the game and see if it is working or not. If not, next is to update graphics card. So for that, go to Windows search, search for device manager. Now go below expand display adapters, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So this will search if there is any update available for your graphics driver. If yes, then update it and once updated, now try to launch the game and see if this solution helped you. NVIDIA and AMD users just go through the link I have provided in the description and from there you can easily update your graphics card and after that try to play the game and see if it helps to fix the problem. Next is to update windows. So for that go to the windows search, search for check for updates option. Simply type check for updates and this will take you to the windows update page. Here you need to click on check for updates and this will search if any update is available for your windows. If yes, update your windows to the latest version and after that launch the game and see if it is working or not. Next method is to perform a clean boot. So for that you need to press windows plus R and you need to type msconfig then click on ok. Now system configuration pop up will open here you need to click on services. Now go below click on hide all Microsoft services and after that click on disable all. After doing this click on startup then click on open task manager. Now here you have to select the application after selecting it now here you need to click on disable once you've done this now come back and click on apply and then ok once done now restart your system once after restarting your pc now check if the problem is fixed and you can play the game if not next is to check graphic settings of the game so when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution shadows anti-aliasing or it is not set as low then it directly impacts the game so you are suggested to check if the settings are properly set up or not you are suggested to enable vsync to prevent any frame drops and also if there is any resolution or settings is set too high kindly lower them and after that check if the problem is fixed or not Next solution is to stop overclock CPU and GPU settings. So sometimes overclocking makes the CPU and GPU uninstable. So you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of CPU or GPU in the background. If yes, then kindly stop all those and then check if the issue is resolved or not. Next solution is to close unnecessary background tasks. So for that, go to the window search, search for task manager. Now here you have to search for those apps which are of no use or running in the background you simply need to select it after selecting it right click on it and click on end task option so this will close all the unnecessary background tasks that is running or application that is running and after that try to launch the game and see if it works to fix the issue if not next is to install visual c++ files so for that uh, go through the link that I have provided in the description just need to copy it and paste it in your browser after it opens download and install the files then restart your PC and log into the game and then check if you can play it without any problem so what you need to do is go to your browser now open the link after it opens go below and from here you need to click on it to download the visual C++ files after it gets downloaded now click on it to install it once you install it now try to launch the game and check if it helps to resolve the problem next is to disable in-game overlays so steam users just go to steam and click on steam option over here then click on settings after that click on in-game and here you need to disable the uh, enable the steam overlay while in game option so if it is enabled you simply need to click on it to disable it after that check if the problem is fixed EA game users go to EA app then click on three dot icon over here then go to settings after that click on application and go below and here you can see in game overlay you simply need to click on it to disable it and after that try to launch the game and see if it is working or not 
if not next is to disable antivirus program so if you are having any antivirus program installed on your computer then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues so somewhere the antivirus program blocks the game and you cannot play so if it is so then it's suggested to check the settings of the particular program or disable it to play the game hassle free next is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to windows search search for graphics settings after it opens here you have to select the game if not you need to add it by clicking on add desktop app and go to the game folder where you have installed either on steam or epic or ea app and after adding the game to the list now you need to click on arrow icon under gpu preference you need to select high performance after selecting this try to launch the game and see if it's working or not if not then the final solution is to reinstall the game so steam users go to steam select your game under library section right click on it click on manage then click on uninstall again click on uninstall so this will remove the game for the steam users if you are playing the game on epic then simply click on three dot icon and here you can see uninstall option so this will remove the game from your pc or else you can also go to the search option search for control panel over here then go to uninstall a program and here you need to search for the game and after searching it select it right click on it and click on uninstall so this will uninstall the game it will completely remove the game from your computer after that restart your computer once once you restart your computer now launch steam or epic games or ea games wherever you are playing the game and reinstall the game once again so after reinstalling the game now click on play option and then check if you can play the game without any further problem so by this way you can easily fix whatever issues you are coming across while playing or launching ea sports fc 26 game on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you